Today I want to give a demonstration of some of the autopilot features. Um, here I'm on a, a highway on a rainy day. Uh, it's actually Thanksgiving day. Um, so happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so I'm cruising along. Speed limit is uh, 70 or so. <laughs> um, currently I'm going about 65, 66. Um, so uh, just a quick overview of Auto, the autopilot features and includes auto steer which uh, uses the uh, ultrasonics the radar in the front and the imaging camera in the windshield um, to navigate the car keep between the, keep between the lines and avoiding the car in front of us if there is one um, so all I have to do is to engage it is make sure that it's it's reading the lines here and when it knows it can see lines or at least one good line uh, the gray, <coughs> gray steering wheel will, will appear up there. Uh, that's the auto steer icon. And then I pull my cruise control uh, lever towards me twice. That engages. Um, the icons turn blue. You get a little, well, and the lanes turn blue, or the lines. You get a little warning that you're, you need to be able to take control at any time, keeping your hands on the wheel. Uh, so I'm gonna keep mine pretty close to the wheel. Um, my previous cruise control was set at 36, that's a little bit slow for the freeway, so I'm going to bring that up to 65 right now. Um, then for demonstration, I'm just going to keep my hands, you know, kind of loosely away um, and let the car drive. It does a super, super good job on the freeway uh, because usually lines on freeways are very well marked, the curves are very gentle, and there's not a lot of problems uh, in that way and even if the lines aren't too great if it's following a car it does really good as well um, so we'll just let it cruise for a little bit I'm gonna go along on this freeway for a little while and then uh, take another one let's see it's coming up in maybe two or three miles and, and then there's an area on the next freeway where there's a pretty significant s-curve point where all the lines are painted solid white and you have to reduce your speed a little bit. So I just want to see, show you how it navigates that because uh, it's a pretty good test and today's a really good day to do it because it's Thanksgiving morning and you know what kind of losers are driving around Thanksgiving morning. And one thing you'll notice as we go along we're coming up to a curve steering wheel icon it doesn't just stand there it's actually dynamic so the steering wheel icon will turn as it's turning the real steering wheel steering wheel and it's hard to tell on the free on the on the freeway because you know you don't turn your steering wheel that much on the freeway um, but if we can do it at some lower speeds uh, I can show you that we're just passing an exit right now um, autopilot when it first came out even though it's it's still beta but Sometimes it would kind of pull towards exits because there's broken lines and stuff. And then over time it, it learns. Um, so on a high speed freeway, it, it does really good at not taking an exit. On, um, you know, like your four lane highways or whatever with traffic lights where you might have a lot of exits, sometimes it doesn't, it, it starts to pull and so you have to, you have to be aware quite a bit more. So I'm gonna take this up to 70 miles per hour. That might catch us up to some of these cars ahead of us. And yeah, I mean, it's driving like a champ. have learned a few tips and tricks um, with just using autopilot um, every so often it will ask you to put your hands on the steering wheel and then it detects the torque um, to know that your hands are on the steering wheel and you can actually I mean you can keep your hands on the steering wheel and it will turn with your hands on it <laughs> um, but you can actually make small corrections to autopilot uh, while it's going 
So normally, like if I take control of the steering wheel and I start and I turn because uh, I want to do something different than it's doing, it will just turn off and let me take control. But you can actually you can actually nudge it a little bit. Just give it a tiny bit of pressure. Um, and so there's actually a little bit of built-in leeway uh, to the autopilot. I gotta take this exit, so I'm gonna turn it off. But anyway, so what does that mean? Well, it means that if you feel the car pulling towards an exit and you don't wanna take it, you can actually just apply gentle pressure to the steering wheel and not let it go that way. Um, and at least half the time, that will, that will keep it going straight and it won't even turn off, it'll just keep going. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, turn on autopilot for this curve here and watch the steering wheel. This is, this is a ramp to the next, I guess I should turn on auto steer. There we go. <clears throat> Actually, I can go a little bit faster. So if you can see the icon, I hope you can see it. If not, I'll have to redo this video. Anyway, it's, it's tilted. So we're actually, you can actually see what the steering wheel is doing. I guess you could just look at the steering wheel, but that's kind of cool. They didn't just make it a static icon. Uh, they made it actually functional. Anyway, I was saying, let's say autopilot wasn't keeping me towards the white line enough. I could just apply a little pressure and uh, keep it over there. And that's cool because um, you can do small corrections to it and it doesn't just like freak out and turn off. Um, and, I, and probably that helps, uh, that helps train it over time. All right, so we're going 70. I'm gonna get over to the I want to get to the left lane, I'm going to let autopilot do it, so all I got to do is turn my blinker on, and there's no cars, and it's completely safe now. So, it breaks up the line on the icons um, to show which lane it's passing. So we passed into that lane, and now I'm going to go over to the next lane, and there we go. Other videos will show that, um, like I think Bjorn Nylon has one with, um, what's his name? I'm just blanking on his name. He has the P85D. Anyway, they, they when they're testing out the lane change, they try it next to a car and, and the car won't, it won't crash into the, the car next to it. So that's, so that's cool. Uh, Winter Larson is his last name. I, I'm totally blanking on his uh, first name. That'll come to me. Anyway, let's see. We've got uh, we got several miles before the turns come up that I want to show you. So we'll just let it cruise. I was testing out uh, autopilot, auto steer at the lower end of the speed range. Um, so both cruise control and auto steer uh, become available once you get to 18 miles per hour. So it's kind of like the legal voting age, <laughs> where it's available at 18. Now, if you have cruise control on and auto steer, and you know you're in stop and go traffic, or you know the car in front of you stops, the car will, or, yeah, autopilot will take you to a complete stop and resume driving with no intervention from you. So it's not like it doesn't work below 18 miles per hour, but. If you don't have it on and you, you know, start driving, it's not available until you reach 18 miles per hour. So I've had to switch cameras because my uh, Canon, the battery died. So now I'm using my phone, which is a reasonable, albeit not the best, surrogate here. Hope it don't make you sick. So what I want to do is show you some curves that are ahead. Um, fairly aggressive curves on the freeway. Here's a moderate one that we're going through. It's 
doing really well. Okay, here we are driving along. We're getting pretty close to those curves. Um, here's sort of the beginning of it. I got a car behind me, so I can't slow down too much. And uh, we're going to start doing an S curve. I'm going to take it down to about 65. Might even go down a little bit slower. Avoid the exit. Okay, here we go. This is the beginning. You can see the white lines are now solid. I'm going to take it down to 60 just to make sure. So now we've got some oncoming traffic too. Okay, this car is not going fast enough here. Had to take control there just for a sec. So these are pretty aggressive curves. It's negotiating really well. I have it set at 60, we're going 55, mainly because of the car in front of me. And I'm gonna need to take control again just to merge over in a sec here. But yeah, so those are, those are some aggressive turns and um, did it really well. Actually, it's all clear, so I think autopilot can actually take me over. Not sure why it's not. Hopefully it's not because there's a car there. Okay, next up is a 30 mile per hour rated ramp. So again, I'm not steering, this is all the car, and I'm not using the brake or the, the gas pedal. And I've got my cruise set to 40, I think I'll increase it just so that as we merge... And I'm letting autopilot merge, I just turned the blinker on so that it would stay behind here just for a little bit car behind me is super tailing me, so I don't know if he's going to jet around me or not. Doesn't look like it, so I'm going to let autopilot take us over again. There we go. And we'll take up the speed. Yeah, it's a super fun feature, works extremely well on freeways, um, as well as bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, um, and it's kind of fun to help train it on, you know, some of the city roads, some of the uh, slower speed highways and stuff like that. Um, you have to be always ready to take over, um, because it will yield control to you. Oh, now, see, now I'm getting the put your hands on the steering wheel thing, so I'll just hands there and it goes away. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so um, it will yield control to you in any kind of emergency situation or anything, so you always have to be ready. Um, but it's a super fun um, component of the car. Probably one of the best features. I, I actually probably wouldn't have gotten a Tesla this year if it wasn't out. Um, but I, I didn't want to buy another car, a new car, until there was something with, you know, auto steer or some sort of autopilot, and Tesla just got to it so fast, um, and it uh, worked really well. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and um, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving.